Hey guys, welcome to another show here, and uh, today I have finally finished an art head, and now before I make them into a puppet head, I am going to teach you on how you can make an art head, and you will be able to wear it, and I'm going to have it open and closed just like it does in your game. Actually, I've never seen his face open up, but that seems to be what you guys like, so I'm going to be making that happen. So let's get started, you guys. I'm going to put Charizard aside for now, and we're going to start working on Enard. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need some white glue, styrofoam balls, some paint, some paintbrush, tape measure, permanent marker, hot glue gun. Remember, hot glue guns are very hot. You will burn and blister your hands if you are not careful. Safety glasses, always a good idea. Some masking tape, toilet paper, newspaper. You will need quite a bit of newspaper and a razor blade. Razor blades are very sharp. Be careful not to stab yourself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start rolling up a head. I kind of started on this, but I'm going to start again just so you know how it's done. Um, I want a head that is 12 inches tall because uh, that is going to be your jaw and the top of your head. So what you need to do is you need to take your newspaper and start wrapping them up one at a time. So this is one sheet of newspaper, crumble it, make a nice light ball, don't make it too tight. You want lots of air because then you're not using so much newspaper. And then simply do this. And then the same thing over and over again. Now once we have the paper mache on it, and the glue has dried, we can actually pull this out and reclaim it for future use. So, right now we just want the base. Now, a really good trick to save a lot of time is to make two of these and just stack them on, on top of each other. You could actually save some time doing it that way. Um, I'm going to do it this way. I, I'm going to keep doing going until I have it at least 12 uh, tall, 12 inches tall, and at least 9 inches wide. So I'm going to take my scotch tape. It does not have to. It, like it never looks pretty when you when, when you when you start working on it. But the more you work on it, the more it comes together. Okay, we should have something that looks like this. So, let's take a measurement. Just a little more than 12 inches tall. This is perfect. And it's about nine inches long. So what I'm going to do now wrap the whole thing around. That's what you are going to do. Now when you're done you should have something that looks like this. And now it doesn't look pretty but me, you now officially have a puppet head base. So now that we have a puppet head base, it is time to get the first layer of toilet paper on. need to put some glue in. Extremely important that you uh, mix it with water, because otherwise the toilet paper won't be able to absorb it. And uh, if the toilet paper doesn't absorb the glue, then it's nothing sticks. 
and then you know you just you're gonna cry. Just, I'm I'm just gonna mix a little bit. Just some regular tap water is all I need. In this case, I'm just gonna go. I'm actually just gonna go one part glue and half part water, just or maybe just two parts glue, one part water, however you want to say it. And then I'm just gonna mix it. And there you go. It should be quite runny and should uh, fall from your brush very easily. Just like that, eh? Just take a little bit of glue, just put it onto your surface area. This is what's gonna make the toilet paper stick onto it. A little bit bulky there. I'm just gonna tuck that in there, okay. And then, you're gonna, I'm actually gonna, I've already have a roll on, we'll finish. I'm just gonna finish this off. Okay, get your toilet paper to stick. Now you're gonna find that when you use, when you uh, put toilet paper onto a different surface area, it's gonna take a little bit of work because you're putting it onto a different surface area, but when you put toilet paper onto toilet paper, it's just a walk in the park. It's just so smooth, you just look like a pro, and that's when it's fun. But, you know, the painstaking part is covering up the newspaper. So, Okay guys, it may not be pretty now, but it definitely looks a lot better now. Now we have a very nice little shape, a beautiful head shape here. Yeah, basically just set this aside, let it dry overnight. Okay, so now that you have made the base head, we are ready to add the details. Let's start with the hat. So first off, we are going to start by making a Nard's party hat. Roll the newspaper into a cone shape with the edge sticking out on the top like this and now we are going to cut off the bottom so that we have a nice flat and even bottom and now tape it into place with masking tape or scotch tape. Now tape the hat on top of the head with masking or scotch tape or whatever tape works best for you. And now take a sheet of newspaper and crumble it up into the ball. Then use tape to hold it into place. And now I glue it on using hot glue or you can just use masking tape that works fine. And now take a styrofoam ball and attach it to the center of the head base. Now cover it up with toilet paper and white glue mixed with one part water with one part white glue and cover up the toilet paper until it completely takes the shape. Now once everything has dried, go to the bottom of the cone and wrap around it some rolled up newspaper, as you see. It. 
And now cover it up with toilet paper and glue. Take a permanent sharpie and draw in where you want to cut the eye hole, Swen. And now, being very careful with your razor blade, cut out where you have drawn the eye hole. Now, using the cut out eye hole, use that to put it on the other side and trace around it so that they are both exactly the same. Now I'm going to temporarily cover up the eye hole with glued toilet paper just so the head is more rigid and solid until it is completely finished. Now using your sharpie, draw where you want to cut out Ennard's mouth. And now on cardboard, cut out two half moons, which will be Ennard's ears. Now cut out two small strips of cardboard, and this is what we are going to use to attach the ears. And now using a hot glue gun, glue the strips onto the ears. Remember, glue guns are very hot. You can and definitely will burn and blister your hands. It is not fun, so please be very careful. Now using your marker, draw on the bottom where you want to cut the opening. Now align the ears to the center of the head, approximately where the nose is, and attach the ears by cutting out a slot on the side of the head and sliding in the cardboard tip. I am going to temporarily attach the ears on so that you guys can see. The ears will be cut out again later when we are adjusting the shape of the head. And now, roll up a, a strip of toilet paper and wrap it around the edge of the ears. This will make it look a little more realistic and add some depth. After that, Cover it up with toilet paper and glue. Now cut out Ennard's mouth. And after that, we're gonna cut the bottom out so that we can put the mask on. Now roll up a sheet of newspaper and tape it up so that it is a long sausage shape and then tape it at the bottom of Ennard's mouth on the inside of the mask. And now you all notice that I cut the party hat off. That's because I kind of goofed up and made the head a little smaller than I had hoped. So I am just making it a little bit bigger. And to do that, basically just add a little bit more newspaper on the top of the head. This will make their head bigger. And now at this point it is time to smooth things out. I just knock off the rough bumpy edges and we cover it up again in toilet paper and glue. Be very careful when you're using your knife, especially when you have it drawn out this far. But I know what I'm doing.
you'll notice that I have taken the ears out and that's because I am ready to carve and shape the head. Basically just cut out a medium sized hole right where the ears were and cover it up in toilet paper when done. I also like to put in a sheet of newspaper inside just to make it a little bit more rigid. You'll see in just a moment. And now crumble up two tiny newspaper balls and attach them right above the mouth at the both on the left and right side. This is where the cheeks are going to be. Now take a good look where the cheeks are. So here we have newspaper on the top of the head, two newspaper uh, balls which basically are kind of small egg shapes almost for the cheeks and we have also cut out the ear and now it is time to put toilet paper and glue on. And now it is time to smooth down the cheeks. And now it is time to divide the mask in half. Draw a line right across from the top and bottom. Dead center as much as possible. Draw the eyebrows on a separate sheet of cardboard. I'm just using a scrap right now. And now cut the mask in half, except leave the nose intact. And it is time to cut out the eye holes since I no longer need to anything to be holding it together. And now divide the mouth just the same way you divide the rest of the face. Now the ears can be reattached at the same spot it was before. Reattach the party hat and cover everything up with wet toilet paper and glue. To make the mask bigger, if it's too small, simply divide it in half like you did in the front and also run a line on the top You can now open up the back and adjust it to the size of your head once you have it set, simply cover it up and let it dry overnight.
And now I'm just going to smooth out the hat just a little bit more. And now attach the eyebrow and cover it with only one layer of toilet paper. Then the next thing we will work on is getting the face to open up, but first I just want to try it. Oh yeah, that fits. It's a nice fit there. This is kind of the chin strap. So basically the chin actually goes around here, the mouth is actually going to be your chin strap. So, uh, yeah, so then, then the next thing, you know, this is going to be painted, so let's get painting now. Okay, now you're going to want to paint the entire face white, except for the eyebrows, the nose, and the party hat. And now you are going to paint Anard's nose red. Um, I'm going to be honest, I do not have any brown paint. Um, I'm going to paint the uh, eyebrows brown, but I don't feel like going to the store. Fortunately, I have all three primary colors, which means I can make any color I want by mixing. So. Let's go make ourselves some brown. I basically to make a brown, you mix all three colors together, all three primaries, which is red, yellow, and blue. I don't need very much, so I'm just gonna use small amounts. Try to use equal amounts as, as you can. I'm just eyeballing this. And then we got yellow. Alright, let's see what this gives us. This is definitely way too much. What the? Fail! Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> now, blue is a dark color. So, in order to offset the strong blue color, I'm only going to use a very small amount and use more orange and that should give us a nice brown. Just going to turn the palette over so you guys can see. All right, let's try this again and see if we get a nicer brown. See, there we go. Nice, beautiful brown. We can use this. Okay, you guys, now it is time to paint the party hat. So I'm gonna start at the top. I don't have any orange. Again, I'm going to mix the colors. So, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a small amount of red because red is darker than yellow. I've just got a little bit of blue here. I'm actually going to use this. This hole here. Okay. So, a small amount of red. Just a small amount of red, and because yellow is lighter, you're going to need a little more yellow than red to get a nice orange. Alright, that should do. So now it is time to stir. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful shade of orange. Let's start doing the top of the mask.
And now it's time to paint the hat himself, so I'm going to... So, I'm going to paint it green first. So, mix the green. You take a small amount of blue, and you need a generous amount of yellow. Because remember, blue is the darkest color of the primaries. And just like that, green comes right out. That is actually quite nice. I'm not going to make it just a little bit darker, so I'm just going to add it. Just this. There. Okay, so while we're waiting for the green to dry, I'm uh, just going to kind of add some detail there. And if you are a true fan of my channel, you'll also have some fun with glow paint. And you know what I'm going to use this glow paint for? I'm going to put it right on his nose. Lastly, add the yellow stripes on Anard's party hat. Now, we want to just take a quick shot of this to make Anard shine. When using this spray indoors, have good ventilation or open up a window. And we have our mask. Here is a nard, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him on. Yeah, good. Fit. And see how both eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is good. I like this. This I'm I'm actually very happy with this. Hey everybody, I'm a fun party clown! I'm gonna entertain you with a little magic! Watch what I can do with this. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. So in order to make the face open, you're going to make a cut. Going this way. And you want to cut going that way. just like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach some velcro under here so that I have something that will hold it shut hi kids exotic, exotic butter well that's it for this video you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have lots of fun making your mask and there is more sister location masks to come and I'll be making tutorials on that as well. So till then I want to get back to work on my Charizard and I will see you guys next time.